Phaedo, were you in the prison with Socrates on the day he drank the poison? Or did you hear about it from someone else? I was there, Echecrates. What did he say in his final hours? How did he die? I'd like to find out about it. Now, we heard that he died by drinking poison, but nobody knew anything more than that. No Phliasian ever goes to Athens. It's been a long time since any Athenian has come to Phlius. You did not hear about the trial and the accusations? Oh, someone told us about the trial. But we were surprised that even though Socrates had been condemned, he was not executed until much later. What was the reason for that, Phaedo? It happened by chance, Echecrates. Just the day before Socrates' trial began, they crowned the stern of the ship the Athenians sent to Delos. Which ship? The ship in which, the Athenians say, Theseus sailed to Crete, when he took fourteen young people, seven males and seven females, with him, and then saved their lives as well as his own. They had vowed to Apollo that if they were saved, they would make an annual pilgrimage to Delos. This custom still continues, so the entire time of the voyage to and from Delos is a holy season. During that period, public executions are forbidden so that the city will remain pure. If the ship is detained by an unfavorable wind, the trip may take a long time. As I was saying... The pilgrimage begins when the priest of Apollo crowns the stern of the ship, and this happened on the day before the trial. That is why Socrates had to spend time in prison and was not put to death until long after he was sentenced. Tell us about his death, Phaedo. What was said and done? Which of his friends were there, uh, or did the authorities forbid them to be present? Did he die alone? Not at all. Several, actually quite a few of his friends, were with him. Try to give us a complete account of what happened, unless you have something else you must do. I have plenty of time, so I will try to tell you everything about it. Nothing pleases me more than to remember Socrates, whether I am talking about him myself or listening to someone else speak about him. Your listeners feel the same way, Fido. So please, tell us everything as fully and accurately as you can. I felt quite strange being at his side, Echecrates. I could hardly believe that I was present at the death of a close friend, and yet did not feel sorry for him. His behavior and his words were so noble and fearless that he appeared to be happy at the end of his life. Hmm. I felt he was going to Hades by divine providence, and that when he arrived he would do well, if anyone ever does well there. <laughs> that is why I did not pity him, as would seem natural at such a time. Nor did all of us feel the joy we usually experienced whenever we talked about a philosophical topic of such a kind. I felt a strange mixture of both pleasure and pain, knowing that Socrates was about to die. Everyone there shared that feeling, sometimes laughing and sometimes crying, especially Apollodorus. You know the sort of person he is. <laughs> yes, I do. He was quite overwhelmed. All of us were deeply moved. Who else was there? Among the native Athenians were Apollodorus, as I mentioned, and Critobulus, together with his father, Crito, also Hermogenes, Epigenes, and Aeschines, and Tisthenes. Mm. Then there was Tisippus from the deme of Paenia, and Menexenus, and... Sample complete. Ready to continue?